my crafty friends well we're working on our um, abandoning perfection journal again today and I'm gonna do two pages for sure and if I have time I may do more but um, there's a page number 32 says cover a page in small fabric pieces and then number 18 says fill a page with scraps too small to keep so we're gonna do two pages one with paper and one with fabric that are both going to be scrap pages and um, I think I'm going to do them on these two just because why not <laughs> they're here and they'll be easy to do um, I'm trying to decide what would be the easiest way to go about this I think I'm just going to put them down with this art glitter glue and I'm going to start with fabric over here Ribbon is fabric, so it counts. <laughs> so there's that. And then, let's see. Put that piece on there. Let me trim this off. And there's a piece that might be a little bit big, so. I'm not making some special design or worrying about color choices or any of that stuff. I'm just, I just grab some scraps out of my bin and I'm, um, I'm sticking them on here. <laughs> I assume I'll come back later and do something else. I am going to make this one a little bit smaller. Mm -hmm. Trim that. Here's a little piece. Maybe. Yeah, I like it up there. There's some that's not glued down. Okay. Oh, here's a another piece that's <laughs> kind of like that one. But let's wait a minute and put see what else I can find here. Oh, maybe we need to do that one. how long that is so <laughs> we'll just put some glue down and then come back and add more if we need to it was pretty close oh I've got a piece of this let's see Put 
This is something that was partially embroidered. I found it at the thrift store. Maybe we should do it like this. That way I can put something else up there. of something right there let's see I don't know what else do I have how about some denim denim noise is good It didn't say they had to be scraps of fabric, <laughs> although these are. Um, it just said it needed to be a small piece, small pieces. So that's what we're going for here: are some small pieces. Okay. Okay, I like that. And that is page, what is this? 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay, I had something that I was going to use. Where did I put it? Hmm. Thought it was right here. Here they are. Okay, I got these stickers, and they have numbers too. There's a five. And there's not a two. Uh, I guess they're in a different one. I thought they would be in, you know, I thought all the numbers were together, but they're not. Okay, there's a two. I think we're going to do it over here so you can actually see it, though. Yeah, I like that. And I think we may go ahead and do 24 with the same kind of thing. Just because I've got them here, it'd be easy. Okay. Um. It says they're stickers, but I don't know. Oh, yep. Okay, I'm just going to take them at their word and stick it down. Except I'm just wanting to stick where I don't want it. I may have to come back and glue that, but for now we're just going to stick it down. Oh, 
Okay. Now I'm going to move 24 over here. And let's see. Now we're going to do paper scraps. And I'm just grabbing them out of here and sticking them on. So I don't know what they're going to end up looking like. But and there's a flower. <laughs> it was in my paper scraps. I'm throwing stuff all over the ground. Okay, well that one's part of it tore off. That's why it was in here. So I'm just going to take part of it. Let's just do it on here. It'll be easier. Okay, here's a piece of this. This one's one that I circled, I mean, cut circle corners, and I made a pocket, so. We'll fix that. And let's, um, where's my corner punch? Let's go ahead and repunch this corner. There we go. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, it's some more of that. But we're going to go ahead and put it on here. And here's a little fun something. glue that. What else do we have here? Here's a piece of embossed book page. Oh, let's do it up here. It's jelly printed deli paper. <laughs> well, that's a kind of a big piece for a scrap, but um. Let me get my punch. I will just repunch that. Let's 
see if we can carve that one. We can put some stuff over it. It is definitely a piece of wallpaper that's for the way the way that I use wallpaper, I probably would not have used it if I hadn't been saving um, scraps that I wouldn't use for anything else. Okay, let me get my hole punched. Where did I put it? Oh. I hope this will punch through that wallpaper. I didn't even think about the fact it might not. Oh, it did. It did good, actually. Okay. Yay. That's nice to know. Okay. I'm going to leave that all scratchy and it's fine. It's fine. Put that on there. Piece of a doily. <laughs> and let's see what else. There's an edge off of a book page. And there's part of a jelly print. It's on cardstock. It was let's do that up. There's another piece. All right, all we've got is just a little bit right here. So let's see what else we can find. Put this, this is a piece of wallpaper that I use. I tried to jelly print on. It was kind of a not so great experiment. I mean, it didn't turn out like I wanted, but um, but it did get color on it. So I guess we're gonna we kept it. <laughs> and here's a piece of. Scrapbook paper. We'll put that on there and we'll call it done. Okay. I could put that on there. I don't think I'm going to. Because I'm happy with it like this. Okay. Now let's put the... Let's put our numbers on here. Let's 
So that glue up. Okay, where are these our papers? Okay, this was number 18. Let's see. Fill a page with scraps too small to keep. So page number 18 is page 24. And the other one was cover a page in small fabric pieces. That was page 32, uh, number 32. We did on page 25. Okay, well, we're getting there. Um, uh, all my little scrappy bits are coming out. Move that out of the way. Okay, the one other one I really wanted to do was says use yarn to draw some flowers. And um, I'm wanting to try that um, uh, what do you call it? Where you put the y yarn in paint, put it in here, and then you close the page and you pull the string out. That's what I'm wanting to do. So what page was I going to do it on? This will work as good as any. I'm going to put some paper down in there, though, because I don't want, I don't think my flowers are, or my flowers would show up there. Okay, see if this will fit. Not exactly. But um, we're going to call it good enough. I'm going to fold it in half. And I'm going to tear it. Now I need a link. paper down. This is page 52 and 53 where we're going to do this little experiment. I've done this before but it was on watercolor paper in a watercolor book and not a book where the paper is all um, <laughs> what's the word I'm looking for? It's, it's all bumpy because it's been um, Uh, there's all kinds of texture under it. That's what I'm. That's what I'm trying to say. There's all kinds of texture under this that wasn't in the watercolor book when I did it. It turned out pretty good in there, but um, it's also been a while. And I can't remember exactly what I did. Anyhow, Okay, I'm going to pause a minute and get my paint out and string. Be right back. Okay, so I've got this. And I'm going to do two pieces. One bigger than the other one. And I'm going to do them both in copper. Because copper's pretty. If I have enough copper. There we go. It should be more than enough. Uh, I'm going to put some gloves on. <laughs> if I can find gloves. I thought I had some out here. Mm. 
looked like they got taken into the house. Okay, well, uh, well, I'm going to try to do it this way. I'm going to do the little short one first. I'm just making sure the yarn is coated good in the paint. Okay, let's do that. I think I should have made it a little bit shorter because, I mean, lower down because it's, it took more yarn. But there's enough there for me to get a hold of it, and that's what really matters, I think. can't remember what kind of the paint I used last time I tried to do this. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. We'll see what happens. We're going to shut this. And I'm going to pull this one. Woo! Almost got it all over me. And I'm going to pull this one. And we'll see what happens if we get anything that's flower like at all. Well, <laughs> not the best. <laughs> but we did use yarn to make them, so. Um, we're going to call them good enough. I wish I had made the circle bigger. I think it would have it would have looked better. But anyway. And um, this is page 52 and 53. So let's write that down. This is prompt number 41. And it's pages 52 and 53. There we go. <laughs> hmm. I'm tempted to try to add something to it, but I know if I do, I'll make it even worse. So we're going to be happy with that. And um, let me find some way to put numbers on here. Just a second. <clears throat> okay. Alright, here's number 53. Let's ink it up and put it on there. Number 53. That one worked nicely. Let's... Do this one. Yeah. 
there's 52. Let me that up. Okay. Oh, <laughs> 25. <laughs> Wrong. It's a good thing we're abandoning perfection. There we go. 52. <laughs> okay. Well, you have a blessed day. I hope you're enjoying um, playing in this journal. I'm enjoying it a lot. God bless you. Bye-bye.